being a boss babe is no joke babe you know what you think about my outfit really really long here's an idea make the same brush smaller for smaller face people look how big when you're thinking you got to be proactive in your thinking i know people say that a lot give it to god give it to god but like do you really see him taking it from you because if he took it you would act different because for some of us like me getting into law school graduating passing the bar getting a six-figure job for me it wasn't hard it was impossible and somehow with god Hey sister girl, hey sister babe, welcome back to my channel. Girl, I have missed you so much, oh my goodness. How are you guys doing? How is life? How is work? How is family? How is relationships? How are you? And honestly, I've been counting days. Um, <laughs> how long it's been since I've been back on here. Um, I've literally missed you guys so much. And I'm doing my makeup because I have a training for work today and I figured this might be the perfect time for me to pull out the camera while I do my makeup to kind of chat with you guys and catch you guys up. Don't worry, I have not left YouTube. To those who want me to, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not leaving my platform, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. It's about staying true to myself and doing what I do believe God wants me to do, which is to impact others, okay? And this is my way of doing it. And I was ready to walk away and give up and throw the pity party, but devil, nah, I changed my mind. Um, and really, it was God. Like, I was worshiping this morning, and all this just came this morning. When you're thinking, you got to be proactive in your thinking. That's how I feel. And the past couple of weeks, I feel like I've been thinking. I have been absent just within myself. I haven't been eating right. I haven't been exercising. I've just been, like, in this really big dump. <laughs> girl let me just let me just start off with my intro because if you're new here <laughs> welcome sister girl welcome sister babe welcome brother man uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button <sighs> the past month and i think that was the last time i post it's been about a month since i post i had a huge work transition which was really really traumatic um for me what occurred okay what occurred a woman like me in my skin would never ever get away with um i've been trying to recover from that traumatic experience and i'm so grateful for god most first and foremost and we're gonna get into that a little bit you know but let me just go through my my little credits <laughs> okay grateful to my brothers my family it just emotionally it was just a lot <laughs> mentally um and um my girlfriend and also mr Bo. Um, you know, those are the moments in life where, for me, I almost hope they don't occur because I just don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to have to watch people not choose me or not be there for me. So I would rather just go through life with no problems, no problems. And I think that's one of the reasons why for a long time I was constantly trying to be self-sufficient because I didn't want to rely on someone and be disappointed okay and so I'm really grateful because Mr. Bo he's just been there he's been there and thank you <laughs> I love you I'm just so grateful because those people literally prayed me through it and they loved me through and I am just so grateful otherwise I wouldn't be here right now at this stage at this point in my life this season that I didn't have to do it alone for all of you out there who feel like you're doing it alone you're really not because I can attest to how the presence of God how his hands have literally carved ways open doors fight battles you know his feet has literally taken me places mentally physically emotionally financially i'm grateful for god through all of that for his favor if you don't believe in god this is your sign this is your sign and i know it's not the heavens opening up and some crazy miracle of water turning to wine but you guys i just need you to understand that he is not just an ideology he's not a story he's not some character he's not some thing he's real he is there for you the bible says that he did not choose us because we were the greatest he chose us because we were the least like think about it at least for me let me let me paint you a picture i came from haiti grew up very very poor 
Um, and if it wasn't for God who took us out, literally the Bible says that while we were kicking in our mother's blood, he took us and he washed us. And I, you know, I have that image in my head of God just seeing us in the most disgusting place and grabbing hold of us, washing us up, cleaning us, bringing us into a place where we can physically see his promises come to, to life. And so, you know, I myself can tell you that God is real. I can sit there and tell you stories upon stories of how he, he's done it, <laughs> how he's doing it. And I'm not going to make this like an all religious um, sit down, but I need to paint the picture of how real God is. And if you don't know him, and if you don't believe in him, you're missing out. You're missing out, not just in the stuff that he's able to do or in the things that he's able to give, but you're missing out in the person that he is. He saves. That's what he does every single day. So even with this experience that I went through with work, I am just reminded of how good God is. I look to see and find God in everything. And I think I have found him in this situation for sure because my heart was so broken. I felt so wounded. I, I don't think I've had a broken heart in a while, but this was definitely a broken heart for me. And I can physically tell you that he's near to the brokenhearted, okay? And he's not just near to be near, but he mends the broken heart every single time. Every broken heart I've ever had, whether it's with a boy, my mom, my dad, <laughs> um, you know, a family member, whoever, he is near. And he is working and he is mending and he is putting things together, pieces together that you didn't even think you had lost. I can't tell you I'm completely out of it. I'm not, I'm not completely out of it. However, what I went through, I mean, you may call it insignificant compared to world hunger, right? But I will say that to God who counts and numbers every hair on our heads, it was significant enough for him to come and visit me. He was there and he was working it out for me. Trust and believe and have faith in the Father who is above but also is near. But I went through a work thing and others are probably going through a money thing, a relationship thing, a divorce thing, a separation thing, a child thing, a sickness thing, a mental health thing. Whatever thing you're going through, just know that he is an ever-present help in those times of trouble. You don't have to do it alone. The Bible says, come to me, all those who are heavy with burden, and I will give you rest. He says, come to me. My yoke is easy. My burden is light to give you. He wants to replace that heaviness, that difficulty, that impossible situation, uh, whatever it is that you're facing. And, and to others, it might seem really, really tiny. It doesn't matter. Is it more tiny than a speck of hair? Is it more tiny than a follicle of hair? Well, cool, because he care about that too. You're going to be okay. If you trust in him, you're going to be okay. He has never failed. The Bible says that he so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And if he can do that, what is it that he won't do for you? Let's be for real. A lot of the things that we're thinking about God, it's not real. We have no idea. The Bible says that as high as the heaven is from the earth, so are his thoughts higher than ours and his ways higher than ours. And my prayer for you is that you would begin to see the higher things that he sees in you. That you would begin to really understand the depthness of his love for you. Because let me tell you, his son meant everything to him and he gave it up. He gave it up for you. You're so valuable and it doesn't matter what a person, a man, a woman says. God doesn't lie. Let God be true and every man a liar. So yes, that diagnosis is a lie. Take it to the Lord. That person who said that you weren't nothing, it's a lie. That need that you have or the low funds, it's a lie. It's a lie because let me tell you something, love. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is literally a provider. That is his name, literally. If you call Alencia, I'm gonna be like, what's up girl? I respond to Alencia. Well, Jehovah Jireh, the provider, responds to your need. But you gotta see it that way. And it's not just a physical need, sometimes it's mental. He responds to that too. He is so involved with every detail of our lives. We are robbing ourselves when we keep him out. The Bible says that he is waiting at the door knocking. Knocking 
let him in. Let the Lord in today. And I'm not saying that you're never going to struggle. You're never going to hurt. You're never going to. That is not what I'm saying. But there's a difference when you do life with love, unconditional love. It's just so much that you get so many benefits. I can't tell you whether or not if you do right, you'll have everything. There's a lot of people in the world that don't believe in God, that are rich, that have beautiful families, that have nice cars, multiple homes. I mean, it's a lot, but the Bible says that he causes the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. We shouldn't judge God, love, and goodness based on things. You will be highly deceived because the way the world function, a lot of it function without God, meaning people are going on doing life without him. And so while we are in the end of time, the end of days, do not be deceived, sister girl. God is so good. And if you don't know him, or if you want to know him more, I encourage you to do that. And so to sum it all up, you guys, I went through a traumatic, very traumatic experience. And for the amount of time I've worked, like I've worked so hard to get here and at this big age of mine and at this season of my life, I just wasn't expecting for what went down to go down the way that it did. And it's not okay, but I give it to God and he takes it. <laughs> I know people say that a lot, give it to God, give it to God, but like, do you really sit with that? Do you really see him taking it from you? Because if he took it, you would act different, you would think different, you would be different. It's a lot of work, sure. When you have God, it doesn't eliminate the world that you live in. You still got to work. You still got to do things. Pay them bills on time. <laughs> if you want to school, go to school. Learn, study, do the work. I'm here to tell you right now, it is hard. The whole thing is hard, but God makes it easier. God makes it possible. Because for some of us like me, let me just speak for me, Getting into law school, graduating, passing the bar, getting a six-figure job, for me, it wasn't hard. It was impossible. And somehow with God, with God, it wasn't easy, but it was possible. I'd rather live in that reality, wouldn't you? And so my encouragement to you is, sure, you might run to God because something's hard. You might run to God because something's impossible. You might run to God because you think he's a genie in a bottle. Okay, as long as you run, sister girl, brother man, run to him. His arms are wide open. <laughs> Let me see if I can do my makeup really quick for you all. Again, I have a training with a client. Um, and there's really not a lot I can say about that other than it's such an experience for me. I'm so grateful. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Um, let me see if I can do my makeup with you guys quickly. I hope this was encouraging for you. I hope what I said, I know I was talking a lot, girl. I know I was talking a lot and I'm not sorry. It's a lot more I can say about the situation, but I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather, like I said, I've given it to God and he is doing what he wants to do with it. And um, my encouragement to you is to do the same. Whatever it is, give it to God. Um, okay, he's big enough, he's strong enough. <laughs> he's good enough to take care of it for you. Now, it might not look the way you think or want it to look, but that's okay because like I said, he knows better, okay? Some of us just have to like accept the fact that God knows better. He knows better, like look at me, my um, my love life relationship, whatever you want to call it, was not what I was thinking, but it was the best thing for me. <laughs> it was the best thing for me. First of all, I don't even know how he thought to orchestrate it like that. So for those of you who are waiting, 20s and waiting, 30s and waiting, I've done it all. If you want videos, let me know, comment below. I've waited, like I've, I've done it all. And um, I've also done a lot of mistakes. I've failed a lot. Oof, I failed a lot <laughs> in every area imaginable. And I've come out, I've learned my lessons from a lot of it, not all of it, most of it, a lot of it. And um, you know, I'm in a place in my life where I have so much to give. Like my cup is full, you guys. It's so full. I need I need to get it out. I need to get it out so he can continuously fill me. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But girl, 
He's so good. I'm using the NARS Radiant Foundation. It looks like this, but this is the color Decor Nambia. This is going to be real quick, you guys. I don't have time to do any of the fancy stuff. Ideally, I'd like to leave here um, in the next 15 minutes. This is such a big brush. I really wish they would make some of these brushes for small face people. Like the same brush, Sephora. Here's an idea. Or any makeup company. Here's an idea. Make the same brush smaller for smaller face people. Look how big this brush is. This is too big for a small face person. But it's such a great brush. Can y'all do that for us? Because the packages come different. By packages, I mean the women. The women. We come in different packaging. Some with big heads. And for a long time, I wanted a big head. Some with small head, like me. <laughs> and so, can you accommodate us, please? Same brushes, but smaller. And I know I have a small channel. And you probably aren't watching this, but with God, all things are possible. But There's a song I've been listening to. Oh my gosh, I've been eating it up, you guys. It was literally my anthem this morning while I was in the shower. Um, I'm going to tell you guys. It's called Who You Say I Am by Hillsong. So I downloaded this essential playlist from Hillsong. And it's the second song. It's called Who You Say I Am by Hillsong. But it's so good. I'm like medicine right now to me. Okay? Sometimes we don't have to do much. Sometimes we just have to be. He created us to be. Human being. Right? Just be. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't throw the list away. Okay? If you can fast, fast. If you can pray, pray. If you can read, read. But like, just submit. And what you can do on your own, he will give you the strength through the Holy Spirit to do. Relying on God means relying on God. And how else can he get the glory if he doesn't do the big things? Ooh, this is gonna be like the quickest makeup <laughs> you have ever seen in your life, girl. I should have timed this. This is world. But this is what I've been doing lately, especially like on Sundays when I'm going to church. And that's the thing, girl. Here's an update for you. <laughs> we are back at church every week. Every week we are at church worshiping God. And my, 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 I never thought I'd see the day. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I remember telling myself and my last um, pastor's wife that if I ever left, I would never go back. And surely I left in 2019 I left in 2019 um no I left really in 2017 when I went to law school that was the last time I really was a part of a church right before law school and it wasn't until this past Easter day I finally went back with Mr. Bo and we have been going every Sunday I don't know when was our first Sunday I don't I don't think it was Easter it definitely wasn't Easter Sunday it was maybe a couple Sundays before Easter um, so March I think March April from 2017 to 2024 <laughs> was that seven years um, you know seven is that number I'm tell y'all not saying you know God kept me away from church that's not what I'm saying so don't don't do that sis <laughs> but I will say that um, he was with me every step of the, way, of the way. Mr. Bo always says, you know, when we're talking, he's like, man, I can't believe you haven't been in church in like seven years because no one could really tell. Like, you know your word, you still pray, you read your Bible. Like, what? <laughs> no one could tell because it wasn't about those things. My relationship, irrespective or outside of the church thing is my relationship. And that's how you have to see it. It's not about a person. It's not about what was done to me or who or what. That has nothing to do with it. When God saved me, he saved me irrespective of where I came from. You know, despite where I came from, I had nothing to offer. And so... In return, my love 
for him is going to be outside of all of that. And I'm always going to love God. Hi, my name is Valencia, and I'm always going to love God. That ain't never going to change. A lot of things may change. I might stop going to church. I might, you know, stop certain things. I might live a non... Well, I'm not going to say that, but... My life just might look different, but I'm always going to love God. And He's always going to love me. I'm doing everything backward, you guys, but I'm doing everything quickly. I was supposed to blow that. I usually blow that. Like a little excess. That's my alarm. Mm -hmm. I'm using this Sephora Micro Smooth or whatever it's called. I'm going to be out for like 8 hours. And so I need to be shine proof. I have oily skin, Lord. What a situation. Everything in my body, everything in my body was telling me to prepare that bag. And I was like, mm -hmm. I want to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Which is terrible. This is it, girl. This is the makeup right now <laughs> as we sit um for work so i'm using this patrick top whatever it's supposed to be good for oily skin or for the summer i have oily skin i just need some christian company to like do makeup is that like a thing can we can we get that anyways i'm gonna come back sister girl with my outfit then i'm gonna be out the door this is my makeup um, very simple, uh, but this is what we working with. Okay, girl. Bye. <laughs> okay, sister girl. This was the quickest thing that I could find to put on. <laughs> um, I don't have time to do my hair, so what I'm going to do is um, spray it with... Let me show you. I have these pants that I purchased from Marshall's maybe a couple months ago. This blazer I got from Express. This bodysuit tank top I also got from Express. And so, you know, it's giving a little bit of a spring vibe. Um, I like the color and professional all at the same time. So this is what I'm wearing for sure. Now let's go do something with this hair because I don't want to be late. So let me just show you what I'm going to use. Okay, so because I don't have time to curl my hair, I'm going to do it like a beach wave, that, you know, beachy wave style instead. So I'm going to use this IGK Beach Club hairspray. What I typically do is I tend to like wet this brush. I spray it on there and then I kind of just go slowly through the hair. I had an appointment to get my hair done Friday, but um, I have a deposition. You guys, I've had three depositions in the past week. I had one yesterday. I have one in two days. And I had one last week. Being a boss babe <laughs> is no joke babe. But I want that for you if that's what you want or need. For me, it was what I needed. I mean, I wanted it, but I needed it more, I think. You see how I'm getting like that beach wavy look? So this is like my, my lazy hair style with weave. And you want to get the tip especially, and then I just let it dry, natural air. It's like messy, but contained, contained messy. And this is the hair look. This is the hair look. This is the whole thing, the whole outfit. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my bag, my badge, and I'm going to go. I will see you guys a little bit later. I'm going to try to see when I can film it or post this video. But again, I love you guys. Let me know what you think about my outfit. Really, really long um, pants. They they have like this silver aluminum. Let me see. Wish I could show you. So it's like this silver aluminum um, finishing to them. I'll try to take a picture when I come back. But bye, sister girl. Bye, sister babe.